Welcome back YouTube to be it. day number 174 and I'm shivering me ass off because it's winter and I'm in, in a singlet and a pair of fucking shorts. But anyhow, um, today's beer is from Arbador, it's in New Zealand and it's called, no, I, none and only, Why Kick a Moo Cow. Get it? Why Kick a Moo Cow. It's actually after a name of a town in um, New Zealand called uh, Waikika Mukai, or Muku, not even worried about that. But, um, and it reckons fully flavoured hoppy New Zealand pale ale with a slightly sweet multi character ballast with big tropical fruit flavours from these New Zealand hops. The ships, mate. Anyhow, uh, New Zealand pale ale is one of the styles most open to interpretation. It seems to no two. Brewers agree exactly how it should be brewed. And we've gone for the English Pale Ale slash American Pale Ale hybrid brewed with New Zealand hops approach. Which should keep the BJC people happy and off our backs for a while. There you go. It's um, 500 mils, 5.5% alcohol. I think it's 2.2 standard drinks and it's best before the 31st of the 10th, 2014. So that's probably a year old already, maybe. Who knows? Let's give it a go. Why kick a moot cow? It's actually a name of a horse too. It was. I don't know what, what it's in a, I have seen it in Australia a few years back. Whether it was a New Zealand horse, but it was quite funny when old mate was um, calling out the racing and saying, Why kick a moot cow? So Oh, nice big hoppy flavours as you well smells I could should say, aroma. Get me fucking it right. Hmm. Does let's see how, how it goes. It does smell a bit acidic at the moment. Let's see if they've pulled it off. And it's a New Zealand pale ale, so it's a cross between an American and um, the British. Well. Wow. You get the fruit flavour straight up at the back, oh, straight up the front. Nice pine um, residue, little bit of um, nectarine, slight bit of passion fruit straight at the front, then it disappears. Leaves you with a, a slight, let's say, roasted. Um, what would you call it? Roasted bitterness. It's a very um, mild, toned down bitter. It doesn't have the bite. It's just a, it's a mild toned down to it. But you definitely know it's there. It's interest. Very very interesting. Um, I haven't quite tasted a pale ale like this to go on the, the, um, the in-between just slowly pour it try to get a decent head oh it's probably going to spill very very um, you can't even see through that so it's leaning to more more on the bitter side, not not the acidic side. Um, oh, there you go. I'm not liking the flavour. I'm definitely not liking the flavour, but I've never I've never tasted it before. Maybe it might um grow on me. It might be a bit of caramel in there or something. That might, that might be. What I'm trying to pick up, but yeah, just a big backbone to it. Um, it's not acidic; it's just a very, very bloody bitter um, beer, as you can probably tell. Can't even see through it. We're still going to have to give it a pass. We're still going to give it a. Um, 
I give it a two and a half out of five. It's because I sh- only if it's it, it, they have probably designed it to taste like this. It's just not my cup of tea, I should suppo- suppose. But it doesn't taste like excuse me, friends, horse shit or pus or going off it. It actually people out there would like this flavour. Me, nah, no thanks. But well, I'm still gonna drink it. So yeah, that's been beer day number 174. So that's 174 days of the year gone in a row already. It's nearly halfway through. Well, I suppose we have gone past halfway. No, we're not. 180 years, isn't it? I don't know. And brains still fried people. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Let's be kind to one another. And I'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow. Hopefully with a better beer than white kick a moo cow. Um, yeah, but them's the breaks. Take it easy, people. Kind of one another. And I'll catch you on the flip side.